Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Eric Nessler, Dean for Academic Affairs and Chief Scientific Officer. Please be seated for those of you who have seats. Uh, this is our first live event here in Stern Auditorium since the start of the pandemic. You could see we still are working through the kinks in our process. For those of you guys who don't have a name seat, just take a seat anywhere. We'll be sure you get the right diploma. There are some seats over here on the left, for example, if you want to take those. Along with Dr. Marta Filazola, our Dean of the School of Graduate, uh, of Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences, it is our great pleasure to welcome today's graduates, their families and friends to this seventh master's only commencement ceremony. Most of you, are completing two years of your master's program, having come to Mount Sinai in fall 2020 at the height of the pandemic. Many of you had missed out on your normal college graduations, arrived in New York City that was still very much under the throes of COVID-related restrictions. This was before we had our COVID vaccines, before the spectacular new treatments for COVID that have since been developed. And although things were better than the prior spring of 2020 in New York City when the virus first hit us here in New York, at that time the path out of the pandemic was far from clear. All of your classes during that first year were on Zoom. Your social lives with classmates, friends, family were severely constricted. But here we are today. As I mentioned, this is the first live graduation that we've had in three years. Let's get a c applause for that. Your graduation is testimony to your fortitude and impressive resilience and to the fact that somehow, some way, life does go on. We are now at the end of the pandemic phase and entering the endemic phase of COVID-19. The virus is gonna be with us for decades, like the flu, and we'll have periodic vaccinations to reduce serious disease as much as possible. It is sobering to recall that before the pandemic, influenza still killed on the order of 30 to 50,000 Americans every year, and moving forward, we'll now have to add COVID-19 as an additional ongoing danger. We've learned our lesson, at least for the next decade or two, to take risk of contagion by new viral threats more seriously and to have an, an effective public health infrastructure in place to respond far better the next time. That is, until our collective memory fades and we perhaps once again lose our heightened vigilance and preparedness, unfortunately, such as the course of human history. As I sat down to prepare these remarks today and contemplated your year or two as master's students at Mount Sinai, two words came to mind. The first is grit. Wikipedia, which is my source of all knowledge in the world, defines grit as perseverance of effort combined with a passion for a particularly long-term goal. Grit expresses the idea that a crucial component of success is a person's ability to pick a goal and stick with it. Grit is interesting because empirical research has shown that it does not correlate with IQ or standardized test scores. Rather, it is more closely maps a person's and individual's conscientiousness to work hard with scruples and care, and to adapt to new experiences like we've all had to do facing the global pandemic. Grit also correlates with happiness, a person's sense of accomplishment and satisfaction, perhaps the most important goal for all of us and our loved ones. Angela Duckworth, a University of Pennsylvania psychologist who studies grit, writes, and I quote, 
Grit depends on a different kind of hope. It rests on the expectation that our own efforts can improve our future. This brings up the second word that came to mind, optimism. Optimism may seem like an ephemeral stance in today's world from the COVID-19 pandemic to warning signs in the world economy, most notably inflation, which erodes our livelihoods, hopes, and expectations for the future, to the Russian invasion of Ukraine, to school shootings that somehow have become part of American life, to the severe divide in our national politics, to continued disparities in society based on gender and race, education, and opportunity. And of course, it's far easier to have grit and optimism if you have financial means and don't have to face discrimination and bias. But I remain as optimistic today as ever before. I think that America's and the world's best days are in front of us. This is especially poignant for today's graduation because each of your master's degrees, regardless of whether you're going on to more schooling or entering the workforce now, imbue you with the ability to make our world better. Your advanced training in biomedical and clinical research, in public health, in healthcare administration and delivery, in data science, in genetic counseling, and more, prepare you to take on many of today's greatest challenges and make a difference to leave our local, national, and global community a better place than it is today. I am confident that you and your generation will do just that. Benjamin Franklin once said, quote, while we may not be able to control all that happens to us, we can control what happened inside us. I place my bet on you and what you will each do with your exciting careers. Please keep in touch with us. Best of luck with your careers. And remember that you will always be part of the Mount Sinai family. Thank you.